Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 32 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. So yay for day 32. I am very grateful to have made it all the way to day 32. Um, today has been kind of an interesting day, but I have been recognizing God's hand in my life, mostly with just giving me a lot of peace and a lot of inspiration. I um, I kind of woke up and I was thinking about a friend of mine, a sister, um, sister friend. She used to be a roommate of mine, and um, I found out that she was my third cousin. It was kind of funny, but I always called her my sister Kay. So I was dreaming about my sister Kay. So I sent her a Marco Polo video today just to say, hey, um, I thought that was just a nice way. I figured if I'm dreaming about her, I should say something. I should say hi or something. I don't know. So I did that today. But I also had ideas for, um, changing the title of one of my books and um, I was talking to my editing friend today. She was kind enough to give me a ride to my physical therapy today. So I had to do physical therapy again. Yay. And of course the therapist did something to kind of help with my headache, which was nice, but mostly it just moves the stuff around and then it takes a while for my brain to settle down and figure out where my balance is going to be and how much my head is going to make me dizzy, depending on where I move and what I do. So it kind of puts a kibosh on my functioning for the rest of the day, um, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but I did get up and I worked on my book um, and I need help with titles. So I'm just gonna throw it out there. I, was like, I gave some to my friend and I thought it was a good idea. Um, and I'm still not sure. So if anyone wants to comment on my titles or suggestions for my books, I'm, I'm open to that. I am open to having ideas and, and getting ideas from other people, maybe from strangers. Maybe I'll get better feedback from strangers than I get from like friends. Maybe the people that are helping me with my writing are just too close and, um, I'm taking what they're saying a little too, too much to heart and I'm changing my writing and my techniques based on what other people are telling me. Um, and what I really just need is feedback saying, does the story flow? Does it not flow? Is something missing? Does something not make sense? Or just basic grammar punctuation stuff that needs to be fixed in editing. And if it's the point where it just needs, you know, the basic grammar punctuation stuff, and I don't have to fix anything in the story because the whole thing flows, um, then I'm ready to publish. So I need to find someone that can do that. I'm hoping my editing friend will do that, but um, I am contemplating asking for outside help. Uh, as far as doing that because I just want to get it done and I don't like waiting on other people's timetables. Um, it's kind of frustrating for me, <laughs> but I also know that God has his own timetable for me and in, in my life and I'm always waiting for that too. So, or maybe God is always waiting for me to be willing to align myself to his timetable. Um, not really sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm just as frustrating uh, to God as other people are to me. So, Maybe more so, I don't know. Um, anyway, I ramble. My brain goes random places. should know that from watching my videos by now. <laughs> I really want to put my thumbnails up on my videos and I keep reminding myself I have to wait until tomorrow because it's not letting me upload them. I have to wait for my 24 hours to be up and um, not sure exactly what time tonight that's going to be. So it's probably best to just wait until tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow you'll get to see some pretty new thumbnails on my videos. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, um, as for today, I I am grateful for the internal thoughts that have popped into my brain for, for peace and comfort, especially when it comes to like paying my bills and knowing that I can't do anything about it today and I can't go back in the past and change any decisions that I've made and just trusting that God's going to take everything care take care of everything and everything's just gonna be okay and I don't know how it's all gonna work I don't know how it's gonna pan out but I am so grateful for the peace that God is giving me that it's gonna be okay and for those positive reinforcements in my brain because my brain automatically goes to the I should have done this if I'd done this a month ago if I'd done this two months ago if I'd done this last week if I'd done this whatever um and then I'm just like you know what can't change it can't go back in time can't fix it and so I'm grateful for the the positive words, the words, the reminders that pop into my head to kind of silence the, the negative thoughts that are <laughs> running through my brain and the peace that is associated with the, the um, positive thoughts or the thoughts that are silencing the negative thoughts in my brain. So um, I think God is helping me with that today and he's helping me with my, um, with my book. I did sit down and I was working on my book, The Wise One, is what I originally called the book, and then my um, 
my artist friend, my Texas friend, said that she would, um, she said that when you write books or you write series of books and you write multiple series um, for the same place, fictional fantasy places, whatever, that you have a title for the series and then you have titles for the individual books. And so I was going to title my series, The Wise One Series, and I thought it would be weird to be The Wise One Series and have it be The Wise One for the title of the book. So today I came up with the idea of it being The Wise One Series and then the um, title being um, The Forbidden Door, so or The Forbidden Room. It could be The Forbidden Door, it could be The Forbidden Room, I don't know. Anyway, um... <laughs> That was my idea. And of course, my friend looked it up and there's apparently lots of other books by other authors that have titled their books The Wise One and titled their books The Forbidden the Forbidden Room. Um, titles, thankfully, are not copyrighted, so um, I can have the same title as other authors and it's not that big of a deal. So I don't have to let go of my titles necessarily. But um, I'm really that, realizing that I'm not as solidified in my titles as I would like to be. So I'm open to suggestions. I did come up with the idea of for the series instead of just the wise one, because my friend thinks it needs something more than the wise one series, um, that maybe the plight of the wise one or the wise one's plight series. Um, I'm not really sure. It's, it's still a work in progress. I still haven't even finished the first book in that series. So um, I did work on it today, though I I have written the first 13 chapters, so basically I'm just going through and refreshing my memory as to what I wrote and where I'm at and making some corrections to try to make it flow. Um, and I did get as far as chapter 8. I started chapter 8 and I paused so I could get something to eat and take a break and I decided, you know, what? <laughs> okay to just take a break. I got through like seven whole chapters just reading and revising seven chapters today, so I think that's a lot. Plus, I did my physical therapy today, so I'm also grateful for the reminders that God is giving me that it's okay to be gentle with myself. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to not be 100% proactive right now because I'm not feeling the best from physical therapy, and I haven't been sleeping well this week, so um, it's okay to be tired. I've been doing more this week. I've been doing a lot of good, wonderful things, and I can be proud of myself for all of that, but... I also still have to take care of my body. I still have to take care of myself. And I'm so grateful for those thoughts that just pop into my head and those reminders that it's okay to be gentle with myself. It's okay to to just relax. It's okay to take a night off. It's, it's okay. And um, I think that's God just reminding me that he loves me, that he's helping to take care of me and that I it's okay for me to take care of me, that I am important to God and I need to be important to myself. And um pushing myself until I drop is not not the best way of doing things. So if I'm feeling tired, if I feel, um, if I'm in pain, if I need to take a break, if I need to rest, it's okay. And I am so grateful that I have the time and the opportunity to do that. And I am so grateful for the reminders that are popping into my head saying, okay, do this. Okay, do this. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, I am, however, not grateful for the distracting noises outside. I'm pretty sure you probably can't hear them on my video, but there's all that people are setting off fireworks. And I'm like, the 4th of July is not until Monday, but they like to set them off early. And I just don't like the noise. <laughs> and I'm like, of course they're doing it while I'm making my video. I don't have any control over that. And of course, I'm sure you may or may not be able to hear it. So that's just me and my squirrel moments, possibly my ADHD brain. If I have an ADHD brain, I have never been tested for ADHD, but uh, my sister who has been diagnosed with ADHD as an adult um, posts a lot of things that I relate to. And my biological mom was ADHD and my uh, one of my younger brothers has been diagnosed with ADHD having ADHD and my younger sister pointed out to me at one point she's like I can't multitask I can't do all this stuff like all you like all of the rest of us can um in the family and she can't watch movies multiple times and she can't do all this stuff she's like and I'm like oh she's like I don't have ADHD and I was like oh but see I have all those those problems and squirrel moments and all those other things so um I might have ADHD I don't know but anyway I think I've mentioned that in previous videos. I need to get a doctor and get diagnosed with that or determine whether my craziness is. But I don't know. I'm used to my crazy. So it doesn't really bother me that much. I hope it doesn't bother all of you that much. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure that God's the one that created me this way, that made me this way for a reason. And that somehow the way my brain works is what has given me the creativity that I need to write the stories, to come up with all of these fantastic ideas in my head to be multiple places in my brain to figure out all the different um, sides and storylines of all the different characters because my brain has to go multiple different places in order to come up with all of those different characters so it works for me whether it's an ADHD brain or not it works for me with what I want to do in my life and I am grateful to God for that too so um, I'm just grateful that God is in my life and reminding me that there are miracles in my life every day and that it's okay for me to to rest and take care of myself and also for the inspiration and ideas of new titles for my books and um, lots of titles that popped into my head after I um, my editing friend dropped me off this afternoon <laughs> this evening I was texting her ideas for my I'm like I did the series title I'm like here's my series title the wise ones flight or whatever and then I put titles to like all the books that I want to put in that series and I was like wow now I have titles for all the series some of them I might change but I was like there's a lot of books there's probably like six of them that I typed up and sent to her so I was like I have at least six books I six book ideas for my series um and that's not the complete series that's just one of the many series with all of my characters in them so um I am grateful for all of the ideas instead of feel, and instead of feeling overwhelmed like I normally do, like it's going to take forever to write all these, I just feel a sense of excitement and looking forward to writing them all down and seeing how they all play out together and how it's going to work and wanting to see them all be published and just that sense of excitement and anticipation and I'm so grateful for the sense of excitement and anticipation instead of the fear, the worry and the overwhelm, being overwhelmed with the task. So once again, God is giving me a different perspective and I am feeling that energy that he has given me and the excitement to want to do the work. And I am so very grateful for that and I feel so very blessed today. And that's all that I have to say for my videos. So if you like my videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like them too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.